Welcome, and thanks for joining me. I'm Melissa Hampton. We are very excited to share some great news about the future of the Friendship Force. Based on feedback from you, clubs around the world, we know your two biggest challenges are raising awareness in the general public for the Friendship Force and attracting and retaining new and younger members. Everything we'll talk about over the next few minutes is designed to address and resolve these challenges. We've been working very hard over the past year on this, both the staff at FFI and our international board, and we are confident that we have a plan that will ensure a strong, successful future for the Friendship Force. So let's get started with our first challenge, raising public awareness by looking at some of the fundamental laws of marketing. In other words, how do we get the world's attention? Every company is in business to stay that way, and in this way, Friendship Force is just like any other business in the world. Whether the company sells soft drinks or automobiles, is a publication seeking subscribers, a nonprofit seeking members, like a museum or the symphony, every company needs ongoing recognition by and interaction with the general public. So how do companies accomplish this? Advertise, right? Well, in a word, yes, but it's not as simple as that, and here's why. We live in a world with thousands of choices and decisions to make every day about how to spend our money and our time, which means there's a lot of competition out there for getting our attention. In 2007, the total dollars spent worldwide on advertising was $108.2 billion. That's a lot of TV commercials, magazine and newspaper ads, billboards, and internet ads all coming at you and me wanting our attention. To make a dramatic point about this, consider a trip to the average grocery store. Now, this particular store is in the U.S., but I think you'll understand what I mean. On the shelves are more than 30,000 products all saying, buy me, check out this shelf of mustards. So how are choices made? How does company X get you and me to choose this brand of mustard over that one. The companies around the world who are the most successful at getting our attention are the companies who have a strong brand. A brand is the public face of who and what a company is. It's what separates that company from every other company in the world. For example, if I show you this symbol, what comes to mind? That's right, Nike. Or if I showed you this symbol, Yes, the McDonald's arches. Almost anywhere in the world you go, the brand identity of these two companies is recognizable and that's because they have a strong brand. So what makes a brand strong? Well, here's where we talk about two basic laws of marketing, the law of singularity and the law of consistency. The law of singularity means that a brand is unique. There isn't anything else that looks like it anywhere in the world. The law of consistency means that everywhere it appears and every time it appears, it always looks exactly the same. Whether I'm in a store in Japan or Jakarta, if I see this package, I know exactly what's inside. Whether I'm in Nebraska or Nanjing, if I turn on the television and see this logo, I know exactly what to expect. If I'm looking at a magazine and I see this word, I know we're talking about an automobile. M&M's, CNN, and Toyota are strong brands because they follow these two important laws of marketing. They are unique, and they are consistent in appearance throughout the world. Okay, now we've talked about the challenges of getting a company noticed in today's crowded marketplace and two of the basic laws of marketing that we can use to get the job done. Let's turn our attention now to the company that brings us all together, the brand we call the Friendship Force. The original Friendship Force brand came from President Jimmy Carter and Rosalind Carter. That was in 1977 when the organization was founded. They were the brand. At the same time, the Handshake logo was created for use in print materials as the official Friendship Force logo. Friendship Force founder Wayne Smith was smart. He realized that to grow and sell a new organization, the public look of the logo or brand had to be controlled. He understood the law of consistency. For the first 10 years of the Friendship Force history, 
the use of the Handshake logo was strictly regulated at the corporate level. Then something interesting happened in the world of media and technology. In 1985, what was once the exclusive domain of printing houses suddenly became available to anyone with a nice computer and a printer. And what I'm talking about is desktop publishing. Now, this was significant for Friendship Force because rather than obtaining print material from Friendship Force headquarters in Atlanta, clubs could now print up their own newsletters and letterhead, and that meant that the Handshake logo began to appear all around the world in different forms, shapes, and colors. Here's where we encounter another reality in the marketing world, which is brands don't live forever. They can grow weak and they can die. And ignoring the marketing laws of singularity and consistency are two of the ways to weaken a brand, which is what happened to the Friendship Force when clubs began to design their own versions of the Handshake logo. Or in some cases, clubs stopped using the Handshake altogether. In the early 1990s, a vigorous letter campaign was launched to try to regain control and consistency for the usage of the Handshake. But it was too late by then. With so many versions and interpretations of the Friendship Force logo appearing around the world, the brand began to grow very weak. Ten years later, in the early 2000s, there was another try at regaining consistency for the Friendship Force brand. A designer was hired to update the Handshake logo. That research showed that the Handshake symbol had become ubiquitous a brand identity used by thousands of companies and organizations all around the world. Also by that time, the color green had been co-opted by several high-profile industries, the environmental movement, organizations associated with outdoor adventures, and by the health food industry. Three decades ago, the Friendship Force was launched into the world with a strong brand identity, a strong mission with exchanges that pierced the Iron Curtain, and a logo that was, at the time, distinctive for our organization. But for the reasons we've discussed today, over the past decades, Friendship Force has lost its singularity and consistency. We have violated two of the essential laws of marketing, which has weakened our brand, and caused us to lose our public identity as a unified, strong organization. Take a look at these Friendship Force Club websites, and I think you'll see what I mean. Friendship Force has a lot to be proud of, and we want the world to know. There are Friendship Force Clubs in more than 50 countries, and we are all linked together by our commitment to and passion for connecting the world one friend at a time. So how do we regain the world's attention? We know now that our old look or public face is not doing the job for us. We are not getting the world's attention. We know that our brand has become so weak it has actually disappeared in many cases. Many clubs no longer use the Handshake logo at all. If we are serious about getting the world's attention and making Friendship Force better known in communities around the world, we need a new look, a new public face, a look that reflects who the Friendship Force is today, something that positions us for growth and recognition in the future, a look that will help clubs grow, raising public awareness and ultimately attracting new members. We need a new brand. So how do we get the world's attention? It's my pleasure to officially introduce you to the new Friendship Force International logo. This image was created exclusively for us by Iconologic in Atlanta. We think that this brand represents who and what Friendship Force is today. The multiple colors connote diversity. Not just two people shaking hands, but people of many skin colors coming together. It is an abstract symbol, meaning it can suggest to each viewer what speaks to them. It's doves of peace. It's people joining hands. Or it's simply an energetic sparkle of fun, an invitation into the world of Friendship Force to get to know us better. It is also a strong brand, meaning that it is unique. And it's easily customized for each individual club so that we can regain our worldwide consistency. A new look calls for a new slogan that tells the world who we are and sums up the Friendship Force experience in a single sentence. In other words, today's Friendship Force is changing the way you see the world. 
That's what we want the world to know. Along with what we've just seen, we have also worked on a new mission statement, a values and vision statement. All of these things, a new brand, new mission, new Friendship Force exchanges, are part of a strategic plan called The Next Generation that you'll hear about in a separate video from Friendship Force President George Brown. We feel that all of these items reflect the focused and energized Friendship Force International, and you can see everything on the new website. So it's with pride and pleasure that we offer to you, Friendship Force Clubs around the world, our best work ever as a staff, the best we have to offer the organization and its future. All of us have been touched by the magic of the Friendship Force, and it deserves our best efforts to help it grow and thrive for another 30 years, for the future, and for the next generation. We all feel passionately about the work we do together, and we want the world to know what we know. That the Friendship Force is changing the way you see the world. Thanks for joining me.